Hello, kids. Today's message is about the door to Mary's heart. But before we go on to that, we need a little background. About a month from now, it will be Christmas. The church celebrates this time with an event called Advent. The first four Sundays leading up to Christmas have special celebrations and traditions we recognize. It prepares us in many ways to be eager for Christmas and humbly and respectfully present ourselves before God. Since this is the first Sunday to Advent, we are going to go back in the Christmas story to before Jesus was born. We are going to look at the passage from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 56. In this chapter, we are going to examine Mary and what may have been going on in her heart. After reading this passage, it doesn't give the reader a lot of clues to Mary. Here are the facts. She is a virgin. She is a descendant of David. She is going to be married soon to a man named Joseph. Her name is Mary. So now we may have to figure out from these facts what may be going on in her heart. It is likely that she was happy to have found someone to love. Also, it is likely she was happy to get married. She was likely looking forward to being a wife and a mother. So generally, her heart was likely very upbeat. Suddenly, another fact was brought in by an angel named Gabriel. We find out she was highly favored. The Lord was with her. Now the reader learns Mary must have a holy heart. It is also interesting that she is not afraid of this message. Troubled, not afraid. That makes the reader understand she trusts God with her life. A few months earlier, Gabriel had visited Zechariah in the temple, and he was gripped with fear. Once Mary heard the complete message from Gabriel, what was her reaction? complete submission, and again, trust in God. She replies, I am the Lord's servant. I have to stop here to think. Here is a young woman who had some great things to look forward to in earthly terms. Yet, despite her own dreams to charter her life with the title of, well, her own name, Mary, wife or mother, she states, first, before all this and above all, I am the Lord's servant. Mary's words should be a lesson to us all. Her heart, if related to a door, was one that was kept clean and was open at all times, especially to believing in God, trusting in God, and praying to God. It is no surprise, with an open and loving heart as a door, a visitor could come into her life. But though she was troubled, she would not fear, nor would she close the door when the visitor left. Yes, Mary was not to be disappointed in her decision and obedience. At the end of this scripture passage is the famous song of Mary, where her joy is overflowing in her heart. The reader does not need to guess how she is feeling now. Mary's example of keeping an open door for God's love and Holy Spirit is a guide for us all. May we give thought of this at the start of Advent and share in the joy of knowing the Messiah has arrived. Who knows? Perhaps we'll burst into song as well. Would you like to pray with me? Lord, we thank you for your mother, Mary. We remember and honor her today at the start of Advent. Mary accepted God's will in obedience. May we be like her in gentleness, kindness, and trust. And may we grow in your love and have hope in your saving grace. We are your servants. Amen. Thank you for listening and have a great week.